Hey guys, and welcome to my series of videos for introductory physics. This first video will aim to give you an introduction to the course and break it down, hopefully giving you an overview of what you can come to expect throughout the video series. Now, just note that there will be a lot of terms and symbols that I use in this video that might not make sense to you at the moment, but they will be explained in later videos. So, let's have a look. The course is initially broken down into three topics, the first of which being mechanics. Um, mechanics is a branch of physics that deals with the action of forces and bodies on bodies and with motion. Um, but mechanics is then further decomposed into a range of topics, starting with motion in one dimension, which is then expanded into motion with two and three dimensions. So here we look at bodies in terms of their acceleration and velocity, and we look at how their positions might change with time. Uh, you'll see a lot of these arrows, they're called vectors, but um, they'll be explained later. Um, you'll also see some of these graphs, which all help us to predict results to do with motion of bodies. Right, so we then move on to a new topic called particle dynamics, uh, where we look at the work of a man named Sir Isaac Newton and how he described motion. Uh, we are introduced to forces and the Newton equations such as F equals MA and this equilibrium equation which states that the net force acting on a body is equal to zero if a body is in equilibrium. Right, so these two equations we're going to see a lot of times throughout the course. But moving on to the next topic, uh, which is work and energy. Uh, we'll be looking at um, the three types of energy listed here, kinetic energy, potential energy and internal energy. We look at how these energy relate to motion of a body and once again use some new equations to uh, predict the um, predict resulting motions. Uh, we then move on to a topic called momentum and collisions where we learn what momentum is as well as another property known as impulse and how the two are related. Uh, we use these properties to examine the forces in a collision as well as what happens to bodies immediately after they collide. Right, so that's momentum and collisions. Uh, we then move quite far away and have a deep investigation of gravity. Um, we look at the forces and energies involved with orbiting bodies and we learn of what Newton thought of gravity which is actually represented here by this equation which we will um, look at in detail later. Uh, we also look at the work of another scientist known as Kepler but more on that in future videos. Our final topic in our mechanics is rotation, where we combine all the principles um, we've learned about energy and forces to rotating bodies, um, such as this pulley, or even wheels rolling down hills. And that essentially concludes mechanics, which actually makes up most of the course, but um, at the same time is quite intuitive unlike the topics that follow, due to our ability to picture in our minds the situations represented by questions coming across, questions that we come across. Uh, the following topics, such as thermal physics, uh, deal with more with situations that we can't see um, with the naked eye. Um, so the first topic in thermal physics is temperature, um, where we look at how the properties of matter and objects change with changing temperature. For instance, increasing the temperature of this metal rod will cause it to expand. We also are introduced to heat, heat energy, um, and we use mathematics to relate how much heat energy is needed to raise the temperature of specific objects. So that is quite an important equation at the bottom there. Um, next, we look at something called kinetic theory and the ideal gas. Um, which is um, where we examine the thermal properties of gases. Uh, we further examine temperature and its relatedness to internal energy of a substance before we look at a highly important equation known as the ideal gas law. And this equation relates pressure and volume of a gas to its temperature. Uh, the final topic in thermodynamics is called heat and the first law of thermodynamics, which is actually represented by this little equation here at the bottom and basically what it says is that the only way to change the internal energy of a gas is by heating it or by doing work on it. 
um, two concepts that we won't understand at the moment, but they'll become really important when we come across it. So that's thermal physics. The final topic in the introductory physics course is waves. Um, we first look at um, oscillatory motions, which is essentially repetitive motion. So if you imagine this spring bouncing backwards and forwards, or this pendulum uh, swinging backwards and forwards. So we look at the um, motions and forces involved um, using a lot of the principles that we learnt in the mechanics topic. And we use um, formulas again to derive and determine results to do with this type of motion. Uh, we then take a look at something called wave motion, where we look initially at the properties of a wave, including its amplitude, its wavelength, its velocity, and its frequency, and we look at how these are related. Uh, we look at these waves in different scenarios, such as traveling through air or on a string, and we look at what happens when two waves come into contact, such as um, learning new terms, such as superposition or destructive interference. Uh, the final topic for this waves topic is called sound waves. And basically, we um, look at sound waves, which are basically waves traveling through air. We look at them when they're confined to pipes, and why we're able to hear these, for example, in certain instruments. Um, and then we move on to something called the Doppler effect, which is basically um, describes how the movement of a sound source can affect the frequency or pitch of a sound wave, which is um, represented as well by this equation here, which we'll look at um, in more detail in a, in a future video. Um, and finally, we look at something called beats um, in the final video, and the frequency of these beats, and how the superposition of sound waves actually comes into play um, with beats. And that concludes the breakdown of the course. And I just want to say again, I know that a lot of what I have spoke about won't make sense just yet. But what is important to note is that there were a lot of equations in this course. And it is understanding when and how to use these that is fundamental for success in um, the introductory physics course. So I hope that was helpful. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, guys. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.